I started the day completing a delivered delivery. I left at 105 and I earned for one delivery $46.50. The rest of the day, I focused on Spark. I continue to learn how to use Spark better, the Spark app, and I'm understanding the back end of it more too. I made a mistake yesterday. I understand you tap that, it shows you trip earnings. 6031. Confirmed tips. 1834. So 78.65. Confirmed tips. Those can be from yesterday. I think that's how that, that's what's showing here. If I tap on the tips, these are the tips I earned today. I believe that's how it works because you have to wait 24 hours for the customers to approve. So I have $4 coming and a Ten dollars coming. Customers have twenty four hours to adjust this tip. After that, additional processing time is required before tips show as confirmed. Here, I think those are from yesterday. A few months ago, I learned when using the Spark app. I was getting confused and a higher up got on the phone call when I called for assistance. And it was about substitutions. And the higher up explained that the customer, if they don't tick or check, approve a substitution like, okay, this leads into what happened today. If a customer checks, yes, you can substitute, you can pick something, and then they can approve it or reject it. And I was getting confused a few months ago, why can't I pick a substitution? And that's when I learned if they don't check that box, um, there's no option to grab anything. The app prompts don't work like go through the steps of adding a substitution. So today, hope I'm saying that right. Today, I completed a few Sparks. I didn't complete any Ubers or Grubhubs. While I was in shopping, I added a, I added a substitution. I, I went to go pick the next product. Within five minutes, the customer reached out and rejected it. So I went, they didn't approve it. So I went to try to remove it in the app. I couldn't do it. So I called up Spa Customer Service and they helped me learn how to use the app better. So they asked me to sign out. We went through all, um, trying to figure out why I couldn't remove the product from the shopping list because they would get charged. So I changed my password. Then the customer service person, I had two more items to grab. I went and got the last two items. And when it came to reviewing at the end, before you go up to the line to scan the code to pay, that's when you can remove a product. I'm mastering how to use the Spark app better because that held me back for a while because I got annoyed because I just couldn't figure it out with the substitutions. I understand now. Well, I learned that a few months ago and what happened today, if you make a substitution, 
and a customer reaches out 5, 10, 15 minutes later, and you're just about to wrap it up, and they say, no, I'm not approving it. You have to complete all the other items, pick up all the other items first. Get to the review part before you walk up to the cashier. And that's when you can remove the product from the shopping list. That's how Spark works when it comes to substitutions that are not approved. It was nice not running around working Uber today or Grubhub. My miles could have been lower but I just wanted to go back to the store and offers, I mean, I turned it on and I just grabbed one quick because so many offers were coming in. It was out of control. So I believe Spark is becoming more in demand compared to when I first started. So that was my day with Spark. When you get to the end and it says review before you walk up to the scan and go, this is what showed on my end. You can put the item back yourself or simply give it to an associate. Of course, I would put it back. But what they originally wanted was a 12 pack of regular Oreos, you know, 12 individual packages. And this was the closest substitution that they had. Oreos are very popular. They didn't have any... They, they didn't have any left of the individually wrapped. So I grabbed this thinking, oh, they just want them for lunch. Maybe they'll be, maybe this will be acceptable. And the customer reached out and said, no, they didn't want that. So then on the bottom, it says, I've removed items from my cart and I put them back. So now the product comes off the shopping list before you scan the QR code so the customer don't get charged. I drove a little more today for the money. 84.1 miles. Let's see what I earned. 78.65 plus 46.50. 125.15.